Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology. Last time we uh, attacked a supply convoy for the Chinese invasion forces in an early morning raid with our uh, Astaval fighters and uh, we almost lost our wingman. Man. We managed to save him, but he took a lot of hits from the AAA. So his aircraft's going to be out of service for a while, but fortunately he's got others to choose from. And we did save him after all. And uh, so now let's see how else we can help slow the Chinese invasion of Russia. Steel Dragons, Import Air Base, date July 1st, local time 1430 hours, weather cloudy, situation Chinese warships have entered coastal waters with the intention of destroying allied shipyards and submarine pens. Mission objective, your targets are two Jiangu class frigates that recently entered Peter the Great Bay. Threat suppression data, ground opposition, SAMs from the Jiangu class frigates. Air opposition, possible SU-27s, F5-J7s. So, uh, they want us taking F-22s, we will of course take the X-32 instead. It looks like uh, Russian, the Russians have massed their armored forces along the border here, so they should, uh, they should be in a good position to both defend from the eastward push of the Chinese, as well as to uh, fend off any amphibious invasion from Peter the Great Bay. So, X-32, we will take, uh, Harpoon Missiles. Get one. Um... I guess we'll take a Maverick. Um, because... Uh, the Maverick's got a really big warhead, actually, all things considered, and with that, I think I'm satisfied, so let's take off. Winter, ready to roll. Alright, so taking off here, uh, activate our IR. Airborne. Like, uh, looks like we're picking them up on our radar already, and they've got air cover, according to our RWR here, so let's just turn on our jammers right away. Uh, no need to uh, beat around the bush, I think, with this one. Yeah, we got some expert J7s, which I still don't know why they aren't putting those pilots in better planes. But... Contact your 12 o'clock flow. Seven Looks like he's locked onto us. Um, we got an IR threat. We do have more enemy contacts behind him. Big 29s. FSX. Ooh. Okay, he may be expert, but I do not want to use. Uh, I am not using AMRAMs on him when I have to deal with the uh, FSX, so. I find it amusing that the lowest case for visibility in the game is when you're in, in clouds or fog. Like, you know, night landings are often reputed to be like the absolute worst of the worst. But in this game, night is like a cakewalk compared to... I mean, there are certain situations at night that suck, but generally, uh... Generally, it's the, uh... The fog that gets you in this game. Well, I'll let our wingman open up. Uh, specifically, we're going to have him target one of the wingmen, so no sense in uh, sharing uh, targets here, wasting missiles. Good, yeah. Alright. Uh, we got a lot of fight! Alright, nabbed him before he could pass. Order our wingman to disengage, as now it's us and him, and uh, I'm confident we'll uh, move him out ahead. Alright. Got him! Oh, yeah! Contact your 10 o'clock flow, 2 3 miles. Please advise. Be patient, my pet one. Alright, uh... There's an FSX, where's the McCoy? Aha. 
Uh, I think my wingman probably. They're turning away, so we're just going to move to your Yeah, deal with the FSX. Oh, we have one MiG-29 turn to engage us. Which I'll send my wingman to deal with, so that way I can focus on the FSX. Oh, two in turn to engage us, apparently. Ow, ow, ow. Close the radar, man. Or the weapon, man. How much damage? 80% damage. That was my fault. I should have taken more uh, invasive action there. Alright, so. We gotta be careful not to pull too many more high G maneuvers. Um, on our frame. Uh, lock this guy up, help our wingman. I don't think we have to use the sidewinder for this guy. Alright. Proud of my wingman. It looks like the, uh, Disengage, they're retreating. Let them... That I want you... Uh... Oh, we have a lot of ships in peace right here, so... Approach target. I'm taking a shot. That uh, first one I think was his, so where's the other... Nine miles, eleven o'clock. There he is. Alright. Uh, switch over Damn to pad. our harpoons. I'm taking a shot. It looks like the two harpoons are all we'll need. So at this point, disengage. we can uh, probably disengage and start heading back to uh, friendly territory here. Of course, watch the watch the as the RNG gives it like. Yeah, this effectively looks like a Chinese blockade, right? Go for the pop up. Yeah. Yeah. Mission planned. All right. Oh fuck. Disengage. Contact. And it's your All right. I guess the uh, Mig 29s decided they wanted to play after all. No, please don't. I'm taking damage. Missile launch. You protect me, I protect you. Uh, give me a few more G's. fly this thing apart. Where is he? Where is he? He's not using his radar, which, uh... He's at your one okay, well, got him. I'm taking a shot. Snapshot! Got him! Yeah. Now we just gotta finish him off. Bring it around. Alright, let's get him. Alright. Lock him up. 
We are behind them now. It's not another MiG-29 going silent on us. Yeesh. Man, we won't be using this plane for a while. Alright, take us off of autopilot before it tries to screw us over. Uh, looks like the airbase is dead ahead. So we will take uh, Echo, bearing two. Descent to over to navigational zero. mode and uh, begin our landing procedure. Sending through the fog. I'm expecting it to clear up by 5,000 feet, maybe? Yeah, there we go. A little quiet without the uh, music playing. Kinda disappointed it stopped playing, but... That's what I liked about a games like, um... Command & Conquer is that they had a, a music player built into the game essentially. It was really nice actually. That you could set your own mix. Where to where? Feel like we definitely Oh yeah, we have we got rudder damage from that. Well that must have exploded uh it looked like it exploded here, but really all the shrapnel and stuff must have pushed itself back here because our uh our rudder just feels like it's absolutely shot. Okay, we need more thrust now. Our, our wings are probably full of holes too, which uh, is not conducive to providing lift. Yeah, because we're at 22% throttle and we still, uh, we're still losing altitude. Try to line up a little bit better here. Yeah, I don't know if there's a, I gotta pay more attention to the briefings to see what the wind is, but we're coming in like diagonally here. <laughs> uh, Welcome home. That was a hard landing. I'm surprised uh, our nose gear didn't collapse on landing there. We are barely barely alive. Okay, let's slow down. We don't need to take that off at all. And we got our music back, thankfully. It was getting a little quiet, and I think that was uh, adding to the tension, so... Alright, turn here. Alright, looks like we got F-22. And, uh, excuse me, pardon me, coming through, thanks for waiting. Alright. Uh, a little more thrust. Close enough for government work. So, uh, oh, he wasn't moving. I could have sworn he was. Kind of looked like he did. Oh, uh. The 73rd Airway. And the, is that the 69th Air Force? I'm not fully familiarized with uh, Air Force organization. Raptor over here. Like, um, that's an SU-34. You can easily tell it apart from the other flankers by the, uh, side-by-side -side seating here. 
as opposed to the tandem seating you find in uh, most fighter jets. It's also got that distinctive bulge on the uh, back, which includes some amenities for the crew for use in um, uh, long-range missions, mostly like a small galley, which basically means, as far as this goes, means a place to put your snacks, as well as something that can charitably be called a toilet. But all right, so we're just waiting on our wingman now, and it seems like he's uh, touched down already. So uh, we'll just let him taxi on in. Man, last time our wingman got chewed up, this time we got chewed up. Ah. Uh, oh well. Fair's fair, I suppose. And I was looking up the F4G2, because I know a few episodes I was wondering what that pod was, and I now know, I don't think the pod is the uh, gun, the gun pod, because I was reading and saw that they had to retract the uh, nose gear to test fire the gun on the ground, so, which implies that the pod, the gun pod is behind the wheel gear. gear. So I think this is um, a sensor pod of some sort. Maybe like a TV sensor like what's on the F-14 or possibly an IR sensor. In any case, let's end the mission here. Debrief. Petrovka Air Base. Date July 1st. Mission Steel Dragons. Resolution Success. You inflicted enough damage on those frigates that the Chinese were forced to scuttle them immediately. Congratulations on the job well done. So we took 80% damage, our wingman took 34% damage, but we destroyed the two targets. We have six fighter kills. Um, memory serves, we have a pair of FSXs, and then some Day 7s, and then some MiG 29s. And then our wingman has some J7s and a MiG 29 as well, I believe. Um, we each claimed a Jiangu class frigate for ourselves. All of our launches hit again. Um, one of our wingmen was spoofed. All of our air to ground missiles hit. Okay, gun hit percentage, and our wingman sucks with his gun, I guess. Uh, on us, we had one hit. We jammed a couple. Looks like we jammed uh, possibly two. And then we had four spoofed. And then our wingman, um, he did take a hit. Not as hard as we did, but he did take a hit. Um, so yeah, 90% damage. So, yep, this uh, this X-32 is going to be down for a while. But at least we can pull away one of the support vehicles there. And hopefully we can do a full... Rep well, assuming we take no damage to the next mission... Yeah, yeah, we can do a full repair on him if we take no damage. Alright, with that... With having said that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time. We'll see you then.